Hello, welcome back. I am a little burnt out of trying clothes on after all those pant videos, to be honest. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing another part of my closet clean out, but I'm gonna be going through my purses. This is an area where I don't know if I expect that I will want to like donate or give away too much. Um, I actually had already pulled a few aside that I was already going to donate, so I'll show you those. But purses are something that I've loved since I was a little kid and they can come with you through life. So I feel like, we'll see. It's like not something you can outgrow, you know? So we'll take a look. I'll just look more based on how much space I have, what I'm using, what I'm not. Um, and we'll just like look through them and I'm sure I'll also find lots of things in them. So I'm excited about that. Uh, if you are new here, I'm Morgan. I'm doing a closet clean out series on my channel where I'm going through different areas of my closet, trying either everything on or showing everything and looking at it to see if it's something that is still worth me keeping in my wardrobe or if it's something that I could donate or sell. So we're gonna do purses today. Um, thank you for everyone who's been liking and subscribing from the last few videos. I will be continuing to do more try on going forward. I'd like to still do like shirts, blazers um, and sweaters, but I feel like I need a minute <laughs> because it's been a lot um, in a few short days and I need to like deal with the stuff that I would like to donate or sell um, instead of just making like a huge pile in my living room of things that I'm moving through. So yeah, it might be after this one, I might take a little break before I film sweaters probably next, um, but we'll see. It'll probably be within like the next couple of weeks. So if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna try to make more like fashion and outfit videos going forward. Um, but for now, let's just get right into it. We'll dive in. I'll talk you through things a little bit. This one's going to be more chatty um, and I'll probably be able to share like some fun stories with certain bags. So here we go. Okay, so this is the first one. This is actually a little backpack. Um, this was actually something I was already going to donate. Just haven't really gotten a lot of use out of it and I think it's like a nice enough condition for someone else. So that's number one. She's going to donate. Okay, this is like my favorite bag. Actually, maybe it's tight, I'll show you both. Okay, I got both of these bags from Coach over the past year. I actually think I need to like fluff this one up. Got Halloween candy in this one. So these are basically the same shape and they came with similar straps. I think this one is maybe a little, no, I think they're the same. Um, this one's just nylon and that one is leather. And I got this one at Winners and I just think it's the most fun bag ever. I've loved Coach my whole life and I just love what they're doing on the runways right now with like the big giant bags that it look like kind of distressed. I just think they're so fun. Um, and I also love the broom, like the, what is it? The, like the Birkin the version that they have kind of. Anyway, I've just always loved their bags. And this one I found at Winners earlier this year. They had it in a couple colors, um, but I loved these exact colors and the straps are just really cool. It's like a seatbelt fabric. Um, yeah, I really love this bag and I'm excited to use it again when I do next. And then this one was a more recent purchase. There's things in all of these. I'm really gonna find a lot of stuff. This one has like all these little bows on it. Let me zip it up. I was using this just a couple weeks ago. You would have seen it on my vlogs and it came with this really pretty like cherry leather strap. I've been hanging it on my coat hook and it's getting like almost a little bubble. So I think I need to put it on a different surface, um, but I love it. Little bows, it gives me ballet core vibes. I'd say those two are like my most favorite bags right now. Okay, this one is my probably my oldest bag that I still have that's still in good condition. This is a Burberry bag. Um, and I bought this back in, oh, I found the receipt. Maybe it's in it. Maybe I put it somewhere else. Um, I found, or I bought this bag when I was in London. I think it was 2006. And I was like a young teenager and just like wanted to buy my first little designer piece. And I believe it was like 200 Canadian at the time, maybe two. 20, I don't know, um, but I love it. I used to use this all the time in high school. I thought I was so cute. And then I did reuse it a bit more recently because the style is like more in style again. But for many years, this was kind of like not <laughs> trendy at all. Um, and I just love it out of all of the bags. This one still feels like the highest quality. Like the zipper is like so smooth. It's just like a beautiful bag. So definitely a keep. 
Um, I was on my DH gate moment a couple years ago and I got these two little Jackie bag dupes. They're like a dupe for the Gucci Jackie. And honestly, when I see photos of me using these, I'm like, they look really cute. I love them. I think they look pretty real to me and they feel good. This one maybe feels like the strap is like wearing away a little more. This one still feels fine. This one, it's getting like kind of soft because um, I definitely use the yellow one a lot more. I would use it for like weddings or whatever, but I think they're really cute and they were probably like 15 bucks each. So I don't usually go for a dupe because usually they are too trendy, but this bag I feel like is really classic and I just like love them. The quality is good. And then I have one other dupe that I'll show you as well. Um, but usually I try to avoid that because you're just gonna like like it for a minute and then it's not gonna be cool anymore. These, I've never really seen these pick up as like a trend. Um, they're more a style that I like. Maybe I miss that, maybe they are, but I just personally like them. I also love the way they clip. So those are my little Jackie dupes and they will be keeps. I have a few bags from Fossil that I'll show you. Um, this is one, I don't know if I totally love this bag, so I'm like so curious what's in all of these. I'm like, oh, all my like lip products that I've been looking for. Cute, see how many lip products we recover. Um, this bag I do like, I don't love it. I don't know why I bought this. I think I've had it for a while and it's got like, if it gets dirty, which it kind of is because it's this um, like cord suede, it just gets really dirty. I think I thought this would like fit in with my clothes a little easier, but I haven't, I used it for a while and then I haven't really reached for it again. So I'm gonna put it as a maybe. I might try to sell it um, if I get it cleaned up a bit more and then we will see, but that one's Fossil. And then also from Fossil, I've got the same kind of leather, but this little crossbody phone bag. I love this. It actually comes with the top bit that like clamps here, but I'm using that as my wallet right now. I like that one. That one's a keep. And then I bought this probably about a year and a half ago. A little mini bag kind of emulating that Burberry one. Um, and I still think it's fun. I know I haven't really used this yet, except for just like the first couple of days when I got it, but I think she's cute. So she'll be a keep. This is a little roots bag that I've had for a while. I think I got this at Winners and it's really no frills, you know, it's just like an easy bag. Looks good. Everything's fine. It's like a pebbled leather lots of space in it. I feel like it would be like great for travel, um, but I think it's gonna be a maybe just because I haven't really reached for it. Although I do feel like having something like this when all of these other purses are kind of that U shape is useful to have. So we'll put it in maybe and we'll see. This was like a bag I bought four years ago, might've been almost five years ago. And I saved my little money up for months and months and looked online all the time at this bag. I was like obsessed. I don't think I've been that in love with an item ever. And I like haven't been since. And I don't know what it was about this bag. I saw it in the store and I remember just thinking like, oh, that's just like perfect. Like it's just, I loved the stitching. I don't really love the lock, but whatever. It's Marc Jacobs by the way. And then it has like two compartments in it with like a zipper and it has this red. And I just remember thinking like, oh, that will just always be cool. And if it is good quality, like that bag will just like work, you know? Um, I will say this is like getting pretty tarnished, but otherwise it's doing pretty good. All the brass is like maybe getting a little tarnished from it just like dinging on each other. But yeah, I like saved up, <laughs> smacking myself. I saved up for this four months and then like four many months. And then it did actually go on sale. And I remember it went on sale from like down from like five or 600 into like the twos. And at the time that was just like such a splurge. And yeah, I bought it and I was so excited when it came in. I felt like for days I was excited. Like, I don't know, I've never had that feeling really about something, but for some reason this bag was the one. I will say like it can be a little heavy when you have stuff in it because it fits actually quite a lot, but it is just gorgeous. I'm not using it right now. I actually haven't used it. I don't think this year at all, but I know this will be something over my life that I will continue to reach for. So definitely a keep. 
These are like my soft bags, but I'll show you them because they're all kind of cool. This one is more of like a little grocery kind of bag, but I keep it with my purses because it's not like quite um, like a reusable bag, but it's just like a quilted kind of fabric. And I just think it's a really cool print. I like that one. Um, this one, I bought this last year. It's by a local brand called Soft Girls. And I just think it's really cute. I was actually thinking I might be whipping this one out in the next like week or so here. Um, she's quilted. I like that. And then from the same brand, I got the green. The first one wasn't this brand, just these quilted ones. Um, but yeah, I got this green over the shoulder bag. And I've used this for traveling already. I also bought this just back in the winter and it has been awesome. It like really fits a lot. And I like that you can kind of also like scrunch it down when you're done. I'll probably bring this one with me for traveling um, because then if I do any shopping while I'm out, at least it's like on me a little more secure, but we'll see. I need to think about my bag situation for traveling. I usually just wear like a little crossbody, which I think I have and I'll show you. That one is a keep. Back on my dupe, I've got a little Durf Avenue pouch in here. Maybe I'll start putting my finds into it. This is my other DH gate. I think it was from there. It's like one of those. Oh no, this might've been Etsy actually. I think this was like an Etsy person. Anyway, back on my dupe game. This is my little Bottega dupe and I love it. It's like really good quality. It must have been an Etsy one because I also don't think this was super cheap, but it was obviously like a lot cheaper than designer. Um, and I really like it. I used this a lot this year. You've probably seen it in the vlogs. Very gorge, very slouchy. I feel like I'll get really into using the slouchy bags. Like I'm using one right now. I should bring over my current purse, I will. Um, and then I like get really annoyed at how like not organized they are and then I go back to like the more structured bags like even that Marc Jacobs one has so many compartments like so organized and then I start feeling like it's too uptight and then I go back so whatever it's just fun to have a little mix this bag is the one that I feel like oh my gosh there's a lot in this bag I've got a little fossil change purse with lip products move them over what else we got in here? Some gloves, a gift card. Oh my goodness. I don't know. This bag anyway, this is a Roots bag. When I bought this, I just felt like it was serving just like cunty <laughs> energy. Um, sorry if you hate that word, I think it's funny. And uh, I just feel like it's a sleigh, you know? Walking around with this, just like strutting with these little bags. I don't know, this is such a 2000s moment. I'm showing you this side of it that's all scrunched. I need to put some paper in this one. I really like it. I like the dual tones. I feel like she's sassy, she's fun. Do I pull it out all the time though? Not really, I haven't pulled it out in a little while. Okay. A wallet. There's a money in here. Okay. This has been lucrative for me <laughs> so far, this pile of things that I'm getting. What else we got? We got gloves. Let me guess, lip products. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I was gonna rebuy one of these, bless. Black Cherry Clinique, we love it. We've got a Tide to go, that's great. More lip, more lip. I haven't used this bag in well over a year. Look at all these freaking lip products. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Merit, love, always love. I've got a lip pencil, a Sharpie. This bag was clearly very well loved. Some sort of lip. Oh, and a little comb. Okay. We are recovering some things for real doing this. This um, is a little crossbody bagu. Sorry, there's like even more things in here. What in the heck? I got eye drops. I got, oh, you know what? I think I used this when I was traveling. Cause I'm like looking, I'm like, this is really like, those lip products were probably over months of using this, but I think there's like eye drops and whatever in here. 
Um, this little bag goo bag, and this is the same style. This one got so much use from me. Absolutely loved it. It fits absolutely everything. I do think I'll still keep it, but I'm a little bit on the fence between the two. If you were gonna pick, which print would you go for? I like the little, this is a local brewery. Um, they're originally from Vancouver and they have a, a location here too, it's 33 acres. I like the little pin with this print. I think this print is like pretty timeless, but I think this is very unique. I don't think I necessarily need both anymore because I don't really reach for them that much. Um, these were kind of something I used a lot more pre having a bit of a back issue going on. So I feel like the cross body thing is like a little hard for me to navigate. So I don't know. If you were gonna pick one, who would you go for? Let me know and I will decide. Okay, we're getting like pretty close to the end here. This is probably something I'm going to try to sell. It's like a little Kipling bag. I like the little guy, maybe I'll keep him. Um, but it's really, I don't know, nothing special. Easy for like going down to the river in the summer or something, but I think like some of these can do that instead. So we're gonna make that a maybe. And then this one actually still has the tag on. This is new. It is a Calvin Klein bag that I got and it's like quite cool. Let me show you. So it all unzips and then it like becomes a full like square tote like that. So then it has tons and tons of space, but then you can like zip it back up. And then it's like more compact. So then you can just have it like a smaller bag. I just thought that was so cool. It came in like two colors, this one, and then like a dual tone purple pink. And I was like really debating between the two, but when I was holding the purple pink, I was like getting sick of looking at it while I was looking at it. This one's so neutral, but yeah, haven't used this one yet. Just got it maybe like a month ago. I like that. When I was saying I do a little crossbody traveling, I do my little Lululemon belt bag close to the body. You can make it really tight. Love that. This one is also Coach. I thrifted this though when I was in Vancouver over the summer. I just think she's gorgeous. And I remember it being like really cheap. I was like, well, okay. It's just like a really, really pretty bag. I think it looks quite timeless. And I think it's like really cute for work because it kind of looks almost briefcasey. So she's also a keep. And then I'll go grab my purse, but this is the last one I have here. I love this. This is a guest bag that I got from the Bay. And then I have the little Coach Cherries um, keychain on it, which I think is so cute. It did get a little scratched up though. I can't remember if it's from being on this bag. I don't think I've ever had it on another bag. I think it just got scratched up from like being in the world. So I don't know if I can do anything for that. Maybe like clear nail polish. But yeah, I just think this one is so cute. And I haven't used it in a while because I'm really loving those other two coach ones. Um, but yeah, this little guest one's got the same vibe. I think it's so cute and very fun. And what is in it? Candy. So much candy. Oh my gosh. And more merit. We love. Okay, maybe I'll show you what I've recovered in this process. That's the real like little haul here. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my purse. While I was out hunter gathering in my own home, I found four more bags. So four more I'll show you. You've seen this one a lot lately. I got this in Rome. It's like just a blue suede bag. I love it. It is chaotic to use because there's like no real organization. And I do worry a little bit about the bottom. Maybe I'll give that a clean. I feel like the bottom's gonna like wear out. So if you have any recommendations, maybe I should spray it. But like this suede has stayed all nice. The bottom's getting a little, I don't know. We'll see how she goes, but I just love that color. I think that's so special and vibrant. And then this one I've been using most recently. It's by American Leather. And I really like it as well, a little more organized but still slouchy. What am I dropping? And I've also got a little 
Durf Avenue pouch in here with all my little bits, which we love. And then I figured I should show you my two totes. I own two tote bags, a million purses, but two tote bags. One is this black one from Fossil. I really like it. I think it's great. No real comments on it. And then this one is a fake. Um, this one's from DH Gate. I'm pretty sure it's my fake Goyard. Should I have just lied and said it was real? And this is actually built so well, same as those other ones that I got. And I've used it for traveling. It fits a million things. And I think it's quite cool. So I don't know how you feel about dupes, but I don't know. <laughs> I really like all those ones. Okay, that's everything. What have we recovered? We've recovered three things of candy about a bazillion lip products. That makes a lot of sense because I've been using two lip products for the past forever. I'm wondering where all of them went. So here we go, we found them all and I'm quite pleased about it. We've got one, two, three, four that are from Merit. Merit actually sponsored a video I did a long time ago on this channel, maybe like over a year ago. Um, so they had sent me some stuff, but I absolutely love their lip oils. They're just like amazing. Um, I've got a Glossier. What else? A couple like lipsticks. Um, and a Laneige gummy bear. I'm excited for that. Cute. Put those in. And we also got a gift card. I found like five bucks. <laughs> That's great. Go through your purses if you haven't done it in a while. Okay, that's it for this one. Um, so like I said, I didn't expect to really be getting rid of a ton. I've got like four here, four or five, need to count, um, that I will look into selling or donating. There was another one or two that I had recently donated. I think they're already gone because I was gonna show you. Um, and then the rest of these, I just wanna like put paper or fabric in the ones that are gonna go back into my little cubby so that they're not getting so smushed because they're looking a little rough, some of them. But yeah, that's my little bag collection. I hope that was like interesting to watch. If you are a purse lover like me, you totally get it. I would love to have a nice walk-in closet one day where I can kind of like pop them all up, but for now they're gonna go back into my closet and onto my little hooks and I will keep rotating through them. I usually rotate my purses like every three weeks or so just to keep it fresh and because it's fun. But yeah, that's all. I'll be back continuing this series, like I said, probably in like a week or so. We'll see how it goes. Um, but in the meantime, I will be vlogging on my channel and there's like all kinds of stuff you can go back and watch if you want to watch more videos. So thanks for being here. I'll see you again very soon. Bye. That's all.